up guys, I'm Jesse Green from Georgia and I'm going to teach you how to play a song called Banana Pancakes by Jack Johnson today. Alright, the first two chords you're going to need to learn this song is an A minor bar chord and a G minor bar chord. Um, this song is really cool because it can help you learn some chords you may not use depending on your style. So the first chord is an A minor. What you're going to do is you're going to take your first finger and you literally just bar it across all the strings and you try to get a clean, good sound out of all the strings. And you take your third finger and you put it on the seventh fret of the A string. So in the end it'll sound something like this. Now the G is the exact same formation with your fingers except you're going to move it down two frets. So now your first finger is going to be barring the third fret of strings and your third finger is going to be on the fifth fret of the A string. So it's going to sound like this. So these are the chords that are used mostly throughout the song. All right, the next thing you're going to need to learn after you have perfected the A minor and G minor bar chords is the runs that Jack Johnson does in the song. The runs are really cool because it helps you know, your playing sound a lot more lively, give a lot of uh, movement to the music, and it definitely catch a lot of people's ears. So I'm going to jump right into it here. You're going to take your third finger, you put it on the fifth fret of the E string, and you're going to slide it up to the seventh fret, and with your first finger, you're going to pick the fifth fret of the A string, then you're going to come back to the E string and play the seventh, fifth, third, open E, back to the third, and slide up to the fifth fret. So, it seems like a lot, but it's really not that much. It's going to sound like this, slowly. Something like that. Um, the next run is really, really similar. It's almost the exact same thing, except at the end you're not going to slide from the third fret to the fifth fret. So it's going to sound, it's going to be the exact same thing we just did. It's going to sound like this slowly. Alright guys, so after you have that perfected, take as much time as you need to learn the runs, you're going to put it together with the A minor and G minor chord, and it's going to sound something like this. I'll play it slowly for you. Okay, and now this is what it sounds like, um, the actual tempo of the song. Sped up just a little bit, just practice and work your way up to this tempo. Alright, cool. So now that you've perfected the intro, there's one more small run to learn that's really similar to the other ones, so you've probably already got them down. Um, when Jack Johnson starts to sing, um, the run changes up just a little bit and he slides up from the 5th fret on the E string to the 7th to the 5th fret on the A string to the 7th back to the 5th and then on the E string he plays the 7th, 5th, 3rd and slides back up to the 5th so if you're not exactly sure what part of the song that is he changes, he varies the run just a little bit when he starts singing, so it's this part of the song. Can't you see that it's just raining? Okay, so coming out of the run, there's one more chord I'm going to have to teach you. It's a D7 that leads into a four chord uh, progression. And it's uh, kind of funky, but you'll get used to it. It looks like this. It's a D7, kind of bluesy. And um, you just take your third finger, put it on the fifth fret of the A string, second finger, on the fourth fret of the D string, you're going to take the fourth finger, put it on the fifth fret of the G string, and your first finger is going to be on the third fret of the B string. Just a little, it's a nice little lead in for this chord progression I'm about to teach you. Okay, so now I'm going to teach you, or I'm going to show you on tempo the, uh, the intro with the three runs I've just taught you and the uh, chord the D7 that's going to lead into a, a new chord progression. It's going to sound like this. So once you've got 
got that down, you're halfway to impressing your friends, and all you need to do is learn a few more chords and you've pretty much got the whole song down. Now, the next part of the verse or pre-chorus is um, similar to the stuff we've already played. You're going to have a G minor chord, and you're going to have this D7 chord. It might seem a little funky at first. It's what it sounds like. It's almost like the C chord formation but it's moved up to the 5th fret. So you're going to have your 3rd finger on the 5th fret, 2nd finger on the 4th uh, fret of the D string, um, your 4th finger on the 5th fret of the G string, and your 1st uh, finger on the 3rd fret of the B string. So it's going to sound like this. And make sure you try to mute this top E string with your third finger there so you don't get that sound. Now the next chord in the progression is the A minor chord that we've already learned that same bar chord. And if you have trouble pushing down try using your second finger to help like that. See how you can have both fingers pushing down to get the sound full? Because Sometimes it's hard to build up that finger strength to do that. And now the last chord is going to be this C chord here. It's similar to the bar chords, so you're going to have your first finger on the third fret of the A string, and you're going to kind of bar, kind of bar the rest of the strings just like that. You're going to take your third finger, you're going to put it on the fifth fret of the D string, and then your fourth finger is going to be on the fifth fret of the B string. So when you put it all together, it's going to sound like that. Now the progression goes something like this. Slower it sounds something like this. So a good a good tip for this because it's kind of a weird rhythm, just, just notice that he's going to hit the root note and then he's going to strum the chord both with down strokes and he's going to kind of give a little scratch where he lightly takes his fingers off the string and he does an upstroke. So, and you do that for all the chords. Alright, so once you put everything all together it's going to sound something like this, and I'm going to sing along just so you guys can really, you know, hear it compared to the song. Can't you see that it's just raining? There ain't no need to go outside. Hardly even notice when I try to show you The song is meant to keep you from doing what you're supposed to Waking up too early, maybe we could sleep Make you banana pancakes, pretend like it's the weekend now It's the basic gist of Banana Pancakes by Jack Johnson Baby, you hardly even notice when I try to show you the song is meant to keep you from doing